Hey, it's Pete here from Anderson's TV. I'm here with Neil Richard from Fender at NAM, and he's going to talk us through some new stuff. What have you got for us this year? Absolutely. We've got uh, three main product launches this year. Yeah. We stood in front of uh, one of them, which is Bass Breaker. Very exciting new amp. Very exciting. Range. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have the new Elite Series instruments, uh, American built production guitars, and we also have Paramount acoustic guitars. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. So, we are here to see Rick, and he's going to show us the new Bass Breaker series. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we're excited. Uh, new Bass Breaker series. We got four different amplifiers. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole idea behind them was that we wanted to take um, some of the best features from uh, the Tweed amps of the past, the original Bassman, um, but then fuse them with some modern things. So not each amp is, is a, a copy of a Bassman, it's just that we wanted to use the DNA from, from our older amps and uh, offer something a little different past the, the original uh, you know, tube amps. Everyone loves Fender Cleans, but we wanted to, to, to find the other side of things, add a little bit of aggression and things like that. So yeah. with the four models, we've got the 007, which is seven watts, the yep. 15, which is 15 watts, 1830, which splits the wattage between 18 watts and 30, and then the 45. So um, I'm going to start with the 007, okay, 7 watts as I said, I've got the head here and I've got a 112 cabinet. Uh, the thing about this is it's got a really great clean sound, but then uh, increasing the gain on it uh, gives you this great fat tone, it's got a treble boost, so it'll uh, increase the highs and add a little bit more grit and, uh, and power to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, with the guitar clean, roll down a little bit, and then I'll turn it up and you'll hear the, the great uh, distortion character it's got. Nice. So great seven watts, really beefy low end. Yeah. Um, and you're not going to really uh, upset your neighbors. <laughs> so uh, moving on to the next one, the 15. This is the one we feel is great for someone that's maybe a home recordist. Uh, 15 watts is plenty loud for a lot of people playing in bands. Uh, but you do have a master volume. Uh, the unique features about this particular amp is that it's got three different structures as far as gain, low, mid, and high. So you can go from cleans all the way up to high gain. It's got a built-in reverb, uh, which is a digital reverb. The reason we went with digital is that uh, when you do high gain sounds, tube reverb doesn't work. So having something like this gives it really nice clarity even when you're playing high gain. And then it has XLR outs with cabinet simulation. So if you're playing at home and you're still too loud for people, you can put it on that. You switch it, you'll, you'll notice that the jewel blinks. When that happens, that means that the speaker is disengaged and you can record directly to your computer. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll start with the clean, I'll go to mid gain and then I'll go to high gain. Moving on to the 1830, yeah. uh, this one has a really distinctive feel in itself. It's the only one of the bunch that has two different channels. So you've got the 30 watt side, yeah. which is this great sparkling, full, clean sound. Uh, the tone stack's built on a, a deluxe reverb, but because it's using EL84s, and I should mention all the amps, uh, 1830, 15, and 7 all use EL84s, which is very different for Fender amplifiers. Very. 1830 
you're using four EL84s. So you switch over to the 18 watt side and then it's actually based on an old Brown Deluxe, which has a little bit more attitude and, and grit to it. So I'm gonna start on the clean side, hear that, and then I'm gonna switch over to the dirty side. feel is a British flavor and yet it still feels like a Fender clean sound so it's got because of the EL84s there's an extra sparkle that I hear but the sound is still distinctly Fender that that actually gives you the two different sides pedal friendly um, just something it's like with this one it's not about a master volume it's about letting the tubes do their thing so obviously you're gonna want to crank that up a bit and get a, a big fatter sound out of it yeah. So now we're going to go to uh, the granddaddy of them all, okay, the yeah. flagship, which is the 45. Uh, the 45 did start uh, its life as a basement circuit, but we did some, t some tweaks to it so that you've got two 12-inch speakers as opposed to the original 410. Um, but the thing about 45s is they are really, really loud. Yeah. So what we did is we actually put a, a scaling ability on the amplifier, so you can scale from 45 watts all the way down to one watt. Ah. which is helpful when you want to find the sweet spot, but yep. it's too loud, yep. okay? The other great thing is that with the originals, you had four inputs, and what people realized is that you could actually jumper between the two inputs yep. and use both volumes to get the sound that you want. So if you have a darker guitar, you go bright. If it's a brighter guitar, you go dark. Yep. So with this, what we did is we actually did three inputs, bright, normal, and then combined. So when you plug into that, it's like you're jumpering the cable. Cool. So that way you can blend in both of those and find the, the sweet spot. So with this one, um, I've set it up so that it's definitely got some gain to it. Not, a, not, I don't have it full gained out, but you'll hear the crunch to it. I'll roll back the volume. You'll hear the clarity with the with the guitar. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, so great warm cleans, great distortion. You can even dime everything to 10 and get a really nice overdriven sound. But it's one of those where it's like, it just responds to your playing and that's really what it's about with these amplifiers. So these are brand new from Fender, all different volumes, all different things from the guitarist that plays at home all the way to the guy that plays on the big stage. We've got something for you.